that she disappeared to? When in doubt, search the trash. But there was nothing of interest. There had to be a clue around here somewhere. But not in there. It was just an old sheet of newspaper. But you never know what might come in handy. What have we here? It was a wig, an expensive one too, but more important, it was an exact copy of my own style. I considered leaving the area and decided to go back to my apartment. Perhaps I should make a call. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. Andre Lobino? Hi, Andre. My dear Nico, how are you? Having one of my interesting days? I was about to interview a guy when somebody shot him. My god, are you hurt? I'm okay, but the killer escaped before I could stop her. Her? A woman? That's right. And it's not the only strange thing. I think this is more than just your ordinary homicide. Oh dear. Are you off on one of your little adventures again, Nico? Hey. What do you mean? I suppose at least that idiot Stobar isn't involved this time. Andre, I was nearly killed. Okay, okay. How about this? The murderer was wearing a wig. Sounds more like a job for the fashion police. Ah. No, Andre, listen. The wig was an exact copy of my own hair. Ah, I see. Well, clearly you must track her down. What about witnesses? Worse than useless. Any clues in the wig itself? I never thought of that. Andre, I'm going to get back to the investigation. Okay, Nico. Oh, and what I said earlier, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Andre. I ask for it sometimes. But you know, George, he was a lot of things. But he was never an idiot. If you need my help, be sure to call me. I considered leaving the apartment and decided to visit Vonnen's place. The label inside had been cut out. The killer had covered her tracks. Almost. There were a few strands of blonde hair inside. So the woman I'm after really has blonde hair, not black. It was the front sheet of an old newspaper. The paper had more stories about strange weather around the world. <laughs> hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. You are looking for something? I might be. <laughs> you have come to the right place. Right place, right guy, huh? That's how it looks to me, too. Were you around a little earlier? Oh, I've been around a while. Oh, that's good. I'm a reporter and I need to ask you a few questions. 
Have you seen a blonde woman running by? I haven't seen any women running around. Most babes tend to stop when they see how I can handle a board. Hey, you should get yourself a new photographer, honey. Oh, do you think so? Drop by my studio sometime. Take a look at this wig. Yeah, nice, but not really my style. The woman who wore this has just killed someone. I don't blame her. I'd want to kill someone if I had to wear that wig. Do you happen to know a guy called Vernon? The coder? Yes. Yeah, he's cool. Hangs out in the park with his girlfriend. Where's the park? Just down there, where Twitcher hangs about. About Vernon? Yeah? I'm afraid he's been killed. Shot. Oh man, that's too bad. Still, a neighborhood like this, only the brave survive, huh? Have you seen a shell casing before? Sure. It's from a real gun. Big deal. It was a big deal. For somebody. So where's your posse? What? Big guy like you? Gotta have a posse, surely. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, uh, I got two. Wow. Uh, how about you? you? You got a posse? Oh, yeah. But I like to keep it secret. <laughs> got ya. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Bonjour. Yes? I wonder if you can help me. I doubt it. And anyway, I'm on duty. It's pretty quiet this morning. It's Sunday. What do you expect? Did you see a blonde woman run past a little earlier? Maybe. Maybe not. I need to find her. It's important. I'm sure it is. She killed a man in the apartments over there. How very dramatic. It was for the guy she killed. What does this prove? Any fool can throw together a fake ID. True, but only a real fool would impersonate a journalist at my paper. Take a look at this. Interesting. 12 millimeter. And recently fired. That's right. But how do you know about firearms? Let us just say, I have not always been a traffic warden. What else can you tell me about it? From the head stamp, manufactured in Prague. And the gun itself? The new Magnum, if I'm not wrong. You can tell all that from the shell? You just have to know what to look for. It came from the gun of the woman who tried to kill me. This is not a Saturday night special. You are dealing, I think, with professional killers. Can you help me? Fire away! Ha! My little joke. Did you see a blonde woman running by here earlier? Yes. Around your size, good build, muscle tone, shoe size three, maybe four, and I think not French. That's amazing. No, not amazing. Just good training. Training? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to tell you anything more. Do you happen to know a young computer programmer called Vernon? Is he the one who got himself killed? It wasn't exactly a lifestyle choice, you know. I find sarcasm to be a particularly low form of wit, madame. Take a look at this wig. Very interesting. As wigs go. I found it. Well, aren't you the clever one? It belonged to the killer. So, you really are connected with the shooting. That's right. And I need all the help I can get. Thanks for your help. Goodbye.